All right, everybody. It's Mick from Mick Tires Travels here. So I'm just in my village. I've just come out on a little bike ride and I just thought I'd have a little chat. I wouldn't, if, I, it would be if everybody kept on, stopped coming down road with bloody motorbikes. Right. All right, everybody, it's Mick from Mick Tires Travels here. Uh, at the minute, I'm in my village. I've just come out on a little bike ride, just get myself out of the house. And I thought we'd have a little chat. So I'm just down by the water's edge. There's a bloke down there fishing in boat, as you can see. But I thought we'd have a little talk. We'll have a little talk about things in the world, things what's happening. What I want to talk about is um, this uh, pandemic, what's happening. Now, what I'd, I'd like to say, that I, I've, I've just been reading up on the data from the official government websites now that's in Thailand and the UK now this is the official government websites so anybody can get this anybody can get through this get to have a look at this data so I would urge people to have a look at this data and see if they can make any uh, editorials in it to tell you so because I can't I can't uh, yeah, most of the people they're just listening to BBC or listening to this Chris Whitty and all these all these cronies and everything like that government cronies that come on all the time trying to scare you shitless. But uh, just have a look yourself. Have a look on the government website and have a look at the data. Now I'm going to read you something. Now this is the data from the official government website. This is a as from the 31st of December this is from I think there's somebody coming up on a motorbike hang on I won't be a minute right we'll get back to it right this is from the official government website in the UK data as from the 31st of December 2021 so I'm going to tell you a few things from this government website and I'll let you make your own mind up and, and you can have a look at this yourself now what it what it says the official, official government figures was they got 212,019 new cases by the way it also states that Omicron is the dominant dominant strain in the UK now of these 212,019 981 were hops hospitalized and there were 75 COVID related deaths. Now you can make your own mind up on this because uh, what what do they class as a COVID related deaths? They are actually stating that you can go into hospital with something else, either cancer, diabetes, or being knocked down or whatever like that. But if you get COVID when you're in hospital, you become a COVID death no matter if you've got cancer or anything, it doesn't make any difference. You become a COVID statistic. So bear that in mind. So we'd got 75 COVID deaths after 212,019 and 981 hospitalised. Now I'll tell you another thing that... Um, they're not actually telling you on the BBC or uh, on the government. Uh, where, you know, when they have these government talks every day and everything like that. All they keep telling you is how many cases there is. And we don't want the NHS to be overwhelmed. Well, but I can tell you something now. 
the reason why the NHS is overwhelmed uh, or could be overwhelmed it's not overwhelmed now but uh, it could be overwhelmed is not because of COVID it's because of staff shortages now you can speak to nurses you can speak to them all and you can get this information from them but they will tell you that if you've got eight people on a ward and two people get covid well then the others have to isolate and the others have to go home and isolate for 14 days now so they go home for 14 days which is to a nurse that doesn't make any difference because they're still going to get paid uh, but you isolate for 14 days but they're trying to bring that down uh, for nhs staff down to nine days so they can get back to work so it's not overwhelmed so why is it 14 days for everybody else and five days for nhf staff that's what you've got to uh, ask yourself because uh, that don't um, it, it, it don't it, 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 it's i don't know i just can't make it up you can you, you just can't make it up they're coming out with all these figure things all the time but that's the reason why NHS it could be overwhelmed. It's because the amount of NHS staff that actually have been pinged or something like that through these apps and or been told to isolate because somebody else has got COVID. So the uh, so they all go off, and there's your shortage. There's your shortage of staff. So. Uh, and again, that's something what they don't tell you. That is something what they don't tell you. Right, I put my glasses on for this bit because I can't read my phone. Right, now this is from the government website in Thailand. There again, make your own mind up on this. Have a look at the government website yourself. Don't rely on the on what the BBC tell you or the government when they come come out with um, things on, on TV about uh, all the statistics because they don't tell you how many people's hospitalised they don't tell you how many deaths the proper Covid deaths they don't tell you that and they do not tell you about the NHS being overwhelmed with people staff shortages they just do not tell you things like that so all they come out with is it's going to be overwhelmed now this is the um, this is what's happening in Thailand so yesterday we got 25 COVID related deaths there again COVID related deaths that doesn't mean that they actually went into hospital with COVID it means that COVID related deaths and we got 3037 new COVID infections now keep in mind that figure we got 3037 new COVID infections now that took the figures up to 33,339 infected people are currently re receiving treatment in hospitals in Thailand while 3,115 people were released from hospital so we've got 3,037 going into hospital but we've got 3,115 people coming out of hospital having fully recovered from COVID-19 that's another thing what they just do not tell you but that is on the government website that is on the proper government website so i'll just urge people just don't listen to all this fear mongering and what you get on, on like the bbc and everything like that don't listen to it check it out yourself go on the proper websites i'm going to take these glasses off now Go on the proper websites and have a look yourself and make your own mind up. You're not a robot. You're not a robot. You can judge for yourself what's happening. So just have a look yourself. Check up yourself. 
and make your own mind up. Like a bird and, on uh, a tree. What it is? I'm just what I'd like to say. Here. I mean, I like I say, I'm in Thailand at the minute. It's a lovely day. It's about 34 degrees. I'm just From outside the village. Just uh, the world seems small. Well, I'll just show you. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors. Anyway, people, just um, do a bit of do a bit of actual looking round and check the statistics. Statistics. What? Well, can't even say it. Nah, statistics. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. Check all the figures on the government website because uh, they're the official figures on the government website. There again. Don't listen to all this scaremongering crap that comes out on mainstream media. In the great it's there for a purpose, and I don't know what the purpose is, forever but it's, it's got a purpose. You and anyway, from Mick, from Mick Tyrant's Travels, um, another little rant, another little blog, and uh, I'll catch you later, so... Catch you later. Bye.